Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Um, it is currently quarter after six and we're gonna go for a run. Well, hello guys. Um, I'm in the car and not going anywhere. All right, we're here, just sitting in the car. Uh, basically, so I went out, I went to Walmart and I went to the dollar store because I needed to get some stuff And I was gonna go to the thrift store because my favorite thrift store opened and I'd be back by 11.50 Which is fine. I have a meeting at 11.50 So I want to be back by 11.30 Meaning I'd probably have to leave the thrift store around 11 because it's kind of far away from my house. It's currently 10.30 and um whew, This is the traffic I am currently looking at uh, I don't even know where it starts, where it ends. I know nothing. So right now, oh, it's moving a little bit. It's moving a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to the thrift store because it's still like 20 minutes away and uh, I'm stuck. So I think I'm just going to go get off of the next exit, turn around and uh, go to Tim Hortons and head home. I was stuck in that uh, traffic for about a half hour. Cody's here. This isn't the best angle, but it will work for what I need. Um, what I got at the dollar store, I got a little pot and some seeds, which are upstairs still. Then I got this thing here. This is just like a photo frame. Um, it was $3.50, but I'm going to do that thing that everyone's been doing with like the Spotify thingy. Um, I don't know. I think it's really cool. I want to do it with reputation and then put like merch paper in the background. I think it'll look really cool. And then I got this bin here, which is this giant bin and little inside inserts for it um, to divide it because if you didn't know, uh, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I was selling um, stickers that I made and designed and I want to like start that as an actual like Etsy store thing, um, hopefully shortly. So I need a place to actually organize and sort them. So I thought this would be kind of a cool idea and easy to store because right now they're just like sitting out um, and they could easily get damaged or something could happen to them or they're kind of just in the way so this is a nice easy little storage container for that so i'm going to sort those out iced coffee i'm not a coffee drinker normally i've fallen in love with iced coffee recently um so i got a tim's vanilla iced coffee vanilla is the best iced coffee um and timbits because you can't not that's important Okay, so this is what it looks like right now, and obviously I just sold a whole bunch of these, um, so it's emptier, um, but I need to print off a bunch more of these ones specifically, and also make some new designs, and there's lots of room for that, and then there's also room for just my thank you cards um, on the side here, and I can probably also put some of my shipping little baggies in that as well. Thank you to everyone who did buy stickers from me last week. Um, I was honestly blown away by the amount of response that I did get. Um, I thought it was going to get like two orders, but I literally got so many, um, and I'm so happy that you guys wanted to purchase my stuff. So thank you for doing that. I do plan on doing a another sale probably near the end of summer um put some more summery ones up there the same ones as last time plus a couple kind of fall halloweeny ones as well these here are the plants that we planted back in this vlog right here just as little seeds they're huge now um there's tons of peas i came out to pick a couple of them and uh the sunflowers are starting to bloom as well <laughs> This afternoon actually ended up being a lot of fun. Um, I did have class, which I went to, and then me and mom actually went strawberry picking. came home and chilled for a while and currently I'm working on one of my own personal projects um, I wanted to make myself a DCP sweater um, as like an alumni sweater because I know there's a lot of them out there but I haven't really vibed with any of the styles and a lot of them are for the American program I obviously did the Canadian program um, so that's a lot more what I'm looking for and I have the ability to just make my own um, so that's literally what I'm just vibing with, making exactly how I want to. Um, I got a sweater off Amazon. I did this in Adobe Illustrator, um, and then I just have it laid out for my vinyl sheets, which I'm going to cut on my Cricut right here, um, and I'll show you guys kind of the process of that. But yeah, I just did this up in Adobe and put it so it will print properly. 
These are the heat transfer sheets I'm using. It's heat transfer vinyl. Um, I mean, you can cut it yourself, but I obviously like using the Cricut because it works a lot better. So while that is cutting, this here is the sweater that I got. Um, it is just off Amazon. It was really cheap, but it is just a Hanes um, sweater that I got. So it'll be nice and big and beggy, and it's a really pretty purple color. It's not even showing up right on camera. It's more of a royal purple, not a bluey purple, um, but it's really, really pretty. And the design is going to go just like right across the front here. And then I'm going to put stuff on the arms. Okay, so you can't really tell, but this is the finished piece. And I have it on my light table here. Um, this is a light table I've had for years. If you're anything into art, you know how useful these things are. Um, but basically, by putting on the light table, I can see better. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. But the lines that were cut into the vinyl, so I can weed it out. So I have to take this tool here um, and just like weed in between the letters to get out the shape that it needs to be um, and then I cut off this extra piece because nothing is on here and vinyl is expensive so I save what I can and after saying all that I just realized I cut the vinyl on the wrong side which means that the 20 minutes I just waited for this to print it um, and the chino, sheet of vinyl I just wasted I will have to do again <laughs> printed it right this is literally gonna take forever um i put on some youtube i'm currently watching kaylin nicholson's newest vlog um i love her she's like my favorite youtuber ever um so she's did like a get ready with me thing so i'm watching that and you know peeling my vinyl here's my scrap pile look at all these i literally pulled all of these out one by one with this little tool and cody's just been well he's been cody but yeah, okay, so here it is all laid out. Um, it literally took forever. Like, look at all those little details. This honestly took about an hour and a half. Um, it's all good to go, and I'm gonna iron it on tomorrow because I am tired. It's like almost 11 o'clock. morning guys and today we are going to be finishing off the shirt that I started last night um, and all that's left to do is iron on all the patches so I just sort of place them where I want to um, and then iron them on. It has been a crazy last two hours and I need to talk to you all about it. So literally as I was like trying on my sweater um, I just made, I got an email from um, this company and uh, I was supposed to have an interview today and completely forgot about it, which was fine because the interview wasn't supposed to be till one, but she emailed me as like, can we do it at 1230 instead? It was only like... 11 30 i think um at that point so i was like yeah sure let's do it so thankfully she emailed me because i remembered but long story short i got the job um which i'm so excited for it's like i'm excited for the company um it's like a small business startup kind of thing and they're growing so rapidly fast and what they want me to do is design work but also show social media stuff and I'm so excited for it and it's like the perfect position for me um, and there's so many responsibilities even though it is only a co-op position um, but I'm really excited for it and I think it has a lot of potential and it's like it's like a big girl job my last co-op was like a, a job obviously but it was definitely more of a co-op position this is more of like a real life job like doing stuff that is going to be so impactful and influence not only the company while I'm there but literally the future of the company um to come and the brand is amazing and I'm so excited and um yeah there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff happening and then um after I got off the interview call because it was obviously just like a Skype call thing I went on my phone and found out that um Lost Bros Cody's yelling literally as soon as i got off the call and like i told my family and that i came down and looked at my phone and saw that lost bros is doing a huge sale on uh all of the shirts that i had in my cart <laughs> so they're super discounted um like super discounted so i just ordered 
some stuff from there which i'm super excited i've never actually ordered from lost bros before but i have been talking to them recently and definitely have a high high respect for their company and what they're doing and i um, very excited to get those teas and very happy to be able to support them as well i don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell but i got a waffle win uh window cling thing because it was a dollar um the galactic hero tea the studios tea and the home away from home boardwalk tea the boardwalk tea was the one i like super wanted um but these two were like also in my cart such a good day um such a good day i got i beat my best ever time ever on my run to start it out i made the shirt which turned out so well um i got this job and i got clothes on sale i'm rocking it um i should probably go buy a lottery ticket to be honest hi hi buddy you having a good day too yeah so yeah i was just sitting here eating lunch and i've been watching mickey mouse cartoons i love mickey mouse cartoons had never really seen them before to be honest like i've seen a couple um but nothing consistently until i got disney plus and now that i have disney plus literally for like a week now i've had disney plus um i've been watching mickey mouse cartoons while i've been doing homework and they're so funny there's some that are a little yikes um but there's some that are so 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 funny i love the potato land one then there was another one that i absolutely love that stuck out my mind with like pluto he had to have a cone so mickey thought he'd like join him in wearing a cone that one was so funny um there's a few of them that i really really love so i've really been enjoying just kind of watching them they're very light-hearted simple you can just put on one while you're eating food and then by the time the one's done you usually finish your dinner so um very easy to snapping it out of which is definitely what i was looking for in shows uh but anyway yeah i'm having a super good day i think i'm going to go to the thrift store because i did not get to do that yesterday so i think i'm going to try my luck at it today and see uh what i can do when i go out there oh i don't know how much i'm actually going to film in the thrift store um i don't remember if i mentioned this yesterday or not if i did i will cut it out uh but basically I don't like pulling my camera out nowadays in stores just because I feel like I need to touch the least amount of things possible and if I'm touching like the racks and then touching my camera, putting my camera in my pocket and then like, it's it's like your phone, like I don't really like taking my phone out that much so I don't know how much content I'm actually going to get for you guys like in the store just because um, I, I just don't want to touch, touch my own stuff, like I, I'll sanitize and then get the camera back out, you know? Okay, well, let's do her. Let's go. Hello, welcome to our laundry room. Never vlogged in here before, uh, but I'm in here because I want to show you guys what I got, but it needs to go in the washing machine right away because I'm like not taking it around the house until it gets washed. Um, but I'll show you what I got before I put it in there. But I got a pair of shorts. They're American Eagle shorts and they were $4 and they're pretty much brand new. Like I don't see a tag on them, but they easily could have a tag on them. Literally perfect condition. Um, they're high-waisted. Yeah, they're my size. Like no complaints and then i got a plaid shirt this is just a men's shirt it is a large i believe um so but it's very very thin so i'm just gonna wear it you know over top of stuff <laughs> 